Hi, I'm Kayla. Um, I'm a resident at the studio and I work on the backgrounds and some colouring for the animations. My short film is called Squirrel Jones and the Lost Soda Can and it's about a squirrel who lives on a dairy farm and he's really sick of dairy by now and now he's looking for something sweeter but different to drink and then he finds this lost soda can and he doesn't know how to open it so he shakes it, it drops, everything builds up and then he kind of gets squirt squirted in the face. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I really love working in the animation industry. Um, it's been a dream for very long. So it kind of felt a bit surreal, um, but it was it was also a bit of a learning curve. Uh, with the residency, a learning TV Paint, um, a new software was really frustrating in the beginning because all the shortcuts went the same. But after I got over that, that was it, it was really easy to use. I know extra software. <laughs> Oh, you um, okay. just go up to the top, yeah, there you go. That one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Found it. Um, okay, so this is the first deport. This is where you like sniffing all the dairy. The uh, premise of the workshops and the industry it was so innovative i've never seen anything like that um i've seen normal internships where you show up and work but the way um the the facebook post explained the process and the actual learning that we would be receiving inside of the residency i felt was really special and really innovative and i thought i can't miss out on this because i actually don't qualify as someone who could have applied so i was like but this is too good not to try um so that was really what caught my attention <laughs> and you ended up being selected anyway so that's some advice yeah. for the people just give yourself a chance and apply you never know how it will turn Take out Yes, um, I was hoping to get a sense of how the industry works before I got um, into this residency. I felt like the animation industry was so closed off. I didn't know what studios existed, what to Google to find them, um, looking for internships. And I was just a bit hopeless in terms of what's the language I needed, what skill level was needed. And being part of the studio, seeing the quality work, um, the excellence that Dr. T always talks about. Um, that was just amazing and it really just gave me hope to okay this is the standard and we will get there um yeah and that that was really what i wanted so i got that for me my community helped a lot a lot of people brought coffee <laughs> Um, made me coffee um, so that was really cool that was really something that stood out to me and um, time blocking so we had a workshop on time management and <laughs> we talked about time blocking and that really saved me in the end because I would say okay the morning is for this um, project and then I'll do that in the morning and then moving on <laughs> I'll go to the afternoon stuff and then studies at night or the little um, consults we have I'll have that in the day but then yeah so time blocking was the big thing <laughs> I'd say go for it and one thing for me was in the beginning I was really scared when I had to share work or um, especially the film because I had a very uh, school mentality so you can fail <laughs> um, but when you're in a studio the feedback you get is really to improve the studio so I heard this on some YouTube channel like an art YouTube channel where they called the feedback a, a therapy session for their short film and I love that idea and I really experienced that in the um, residency so see feedback like 
helpful and it's going to improve you and go and change everything on the that you got feedback on because it makes the art that I made and when I applied the feedback 100% better um, almost every time um, yeah when I did it <laughs> so embrace feedback and it's not it, you're not failing you're not going to be like disqualified and cut off from the studio if you do one bad drawing it's okay <laughs> Yeah, that was really special to just kind of relax and just focus on the arts later on because I knew it was, yeah, it was for the studio. It was to make the studio better. I hope that it will make people laugh because um, its inception was really just a funny, like a funny moment in my head and it would be really magical to just share that. So if someone laughs when they watch it, I think that would be good. That's a, then it did good. <laughs>